containing your energy. Containing your energy is a way to fortify your life force, relax your nervous system, focus your mind, and level emotion. There are times when our emotions create destabilization for our energy. Emotions can throw us off center, be draining, or take us really high. And while life is full of vast hills and valleys and sway of emotions, there are times when we simply need containment in order to focus on what is before us and what is required of us to meet what is needed in the day. Containers are created by focusing our life force energy. A mental container may look like reaching into your beliefs and thoughts, perhaps negative or critical thinking, and finding a relationship with it for the day, making an agreement to say, for this day, these thoughts and ideas will be set aside. And these thoughts and ideas will be listened to. Creating an internal agreement for the healthiest, most beneficial thinking for the mind. This creates a container in which to focus the lens. Likely, a container can be made for the emotions. This is not to say that allowing your emotions to release and cleanse is a bad thing. This is to say that at those times when you need containment, you may choose it. You can create a container for your emotions by honoring and respecting that they exist and are there and are alive and moving and simultaneously agree to set them on the side and pick them up later when it's time. Creating a container for our emotions allows us to focus our energy and make right use of that which supports us in our creative moments for the tasks at hand. Creating a container psychically and or energetically means paying attention to yourself, your internal world, your immediate reality and what is called for from you to address the moment. This might look like holding your power, keeping your power with yourself instead of worrying or longing for people, places, experience, and things that are not present. When you are needing containment, focused life force energy, psychically and energetically, it is helpful to notice where your mind is wandering, who you might be thinking of, curious about, worried over. This is frittering away your psychic focus and your energy, your chi, your life force. If you redirect your attention to yourself and focus these energies inwardly on what you're needing, then you create containment that allows yourself to feel fed, noticed, heard, and honored. Creating containment physically might look like making agreements with yourself when there is much on your plate. For example, for the next hour, I will focus on this one project, 
put my attention and my energy behind it and sit, move, stand, or physically relate as I need to, to support that focus. And you can create that boundary in time so that if it is one hour at the completion of that hour, you can drop the energy of that, shake it off, and move on to the next point of focus, perhaps a project, something creative or work-related. And then pick up the energy, align all of these areas of yourself to that focus, and let the container hold the space for your focus. The container that you create ends up feeding you with energy and focus. Creating containers is also useful in terms of relationship to oneself, one's psyche, one's habit patterns. For example, let's say you are caught in sugar craving and what your body actually needs is protein. Instead of simply following the urge for sugar and filling that, you might create an agreement with your body, much like taking a toddler by the hand and redirecting the appetite toward what is healthier. Body, for the next four hours, we're not going to have sugar. We're going to have bits of protein. I know you think you want sugar. It's actually protein that is needed and then stick with that agreement with yourself. Creating containers allows us to become fortified with focus and life force, which empowers us to take care of what is necessary right before us in the moment. Creating containers allows us to shift our focus cleanly and allows us to feel energized instead of drained, allows us to feel inspired instead of heavy from too much to do. Creating containers mentally, emotionally, psychically, energetically, and physically is a wonderful way to build vitality on all those levels for ourselves. Take a moment now Breathing in deep into your lower belly and exhaling to relax. And let's repeat this deep belly breath and easy exhalation for a few minutes. Our intention is to simply settle. Settle in our bellies. Settle in ourselves. Feel the container of the physical body. Breathing it. As you are breathing, feel your awareness become more present in your body as your attention flows with the breath. And imagine with me this image, a container, if it were shaped like a bowl, can hold water. A colander or a sieve in a similar shape, allows the water to leak out. Similarly, you can create your body, mind, emotions, thoughts, spirit, as contained or like a sieve, leaking or energizing. Imagine with me for a moment that you can scan your own aura, your subtle bodies, the energy fields surrounding you, and allow your imagination as you're breathing deep into your belly and relaxing on the exhale, allow your imagination to perceive 
your energy field. Notice where your energy feels contained as you peruse from your crown all the way around your body, front and back and sides, as if you have a flashlight and you can see into your own energetic field. Where do you feel and see containment? And where do things feel leaky? Where are you losing energy? Continue to breathe now as you use this imaginal realm to scan your own energy field. You're scanning thoughts, feelings, perceptions, beliefs, emotions, energies. Leakiness in your physical as well as etheric bodies or contained fortifying energy. Do this for the next couple of minutes. As you are breathing, if you happen to notice as you're scanning any leaky places, you can imagine patching those leaky places up. You can create whatever you like to patch those leaky spots. Fill them in. Another way to create containment in leaky areas after filling them in is by imagining the shape of an egg surrounding you. This egg contains your life force energy, encircles your subtle bodies and creates a container for holding the energy for your own self. You might even imagine placing a healing light within this egg shape surrounding your body. Whatever color comes to you that feels good and healing and nurturing. And you can create this gossamer egg shape container around you and wear it for your day and feel it surrounding you and holding you. This exercise helps you to feel fortified by your own energy circulating in your own field around and around, reflecting back to you the vitality that you actually have, thereby magnifying it. You can look out into your life and consider the places that feel heavy or draining for you. The places that you have not so much joy to have to participate in and ask yourself, how can I contain this energy so that it's experienced differently? How would I prefer for this to be? How would it feel if I made agreements with myself that fortified me around these particular areas, thereby creating a container that holds me and uplifts me? Consider this a query that you can move forward with in this meditation. Breathing deep into your belly and relaxing on the exhale. Engage the question, where does it serve for me to have better containment? What does containment look like for me? And how does it feel to apply some of the practices described in this meditation. 
Whenever you feel you need more energy and more focus than what you have, practice containment, creating your container, and see if it's better than before. You are invited to explore these questions through the rest of this meditation. Blessings on building your container and evolving through breath.